Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Dr. Arshia and today's video is kind of respond review regarding one of the very nice video that Dr. Campbell, John Campbell made uh, and in that video he mentioned that he has a vitamin D deficiency the speed of he taking almost 3000 units of vitamin D every day. So I've been doing research regarding this matter so I want to share some of my ideas with him which I believe he already know because the level of his knowledge is really beyond. He's a very professional MD and in his YouTube channel there are lots of good information. I strongly recommend to all of you to go and watch his videos which I will leave the link to his channel in the description. At the same time I'm gonna tag him so if you want to add anything to this video I'll be very happy. Basically in all of his video there are lots of good information. I agree with most of it. The only part I'm quite not agree with him that he believed that coronavirus is a come from the nature but I quite have a different idea regarding that. So if one day he had a free time I want to discuss about that also I'd be very happy to do so. So all of that has been said by watching this video. You may also learn some stuff that can help you to have a better level of vitamin D in your bloodstream. So if you want to know more, let's follow me through this video. Saying this, I've been also following Dr. Campbell regarding his vitamin D intake. I watched his video when he was taking 1000, then he raised it to 2000, and apparently recently he take up to 3000 units of vitamin D, but he's still vitamin D deficient. So this was a question for me. Please first listen to what he said. The test I'm about to perform shows that I am deficient in vitamin D. Interesting that my results are 22 nanograms per mil, which is 55 nanomoles per litre, lower than we would want. So there you go. I'm actually quite surprised mine's as low because, as I say, um, all, all last summer, um, I spent quite a lot of time working in my uh, allotment you know, with sun exposure. Um, since September, I've been taking 2,000 units a day. And in the past few weeks, I've bunked it up to 3,000 units a day. And it's still only 22 nanograms. All right. As he mentioned, it's a question for him also that why he still don't have enough vitamin D, active vitamin D inside his bloodstream. So in my opinion, this goes back to his growth hormone level. I've been doing research regarding this and apparently there's a very serious link between the IGF-1 and growth hormone with the level of vitamin D deficiency, especially in a, uh, elderly people. First of all, the mechanism of action of these studies are not very clear. In, the, in a simple term, the relationship between the IGF-1 and vitamin D is a hand-to-hand. -hand. Mean In one sense, vitamin D helps the circulation of the IGF-1 inside our system. At the same time, growth hormone and IGF-1 has a direct effect on production of the enzyme which are involved in converting the vitamin D to the form that our body can absorb and use it. So, technically, I believe Dr. Campbell taking enough vitamin D supplements. So by raising it to 4,000, also, I'm not sure if he can get a better result or not, which in my opinion, that's very unlikely. So I wanted to recommend to him that instead of he taking higher dosage of vitamin D, he should take some supplement that help him to produce more growth hormone. And for that, also, there is another research, which I will leave the link in the description, which talk about taking 4 gram to 5 gram of arginine, which will uh, help to produce more growth hormone. But I don't want to recommend that because I've been doing some study with my MD friend in Iran. And basically at the 5 gram, 4 gram, most of the people get diarrhea. And we found out that the best dosage for the arginine to kick in the uh, growth hormone uh, production is between one to one and a half gram of uh, arginine at night uh, plus 100 milligram of ornithine and 100 milligram of lysine with the arginine. And this is based on my research with some of my MD friend back in Iran that we did some kind of collaboration. We got some very good response from this. So basically, I really think uh, between one and a half gram to two gram of arginine with 100 milligram of lysine and 100 milligram of ornithine, if you take it at night, it really stimulate your production of the growing hormone. And I just wanted to share this with Dr. Campbell. So if he agreed to do so, I really hope he will, he do it for at least two to three months 
and then we see with the same amount of 3000 units of vitamin D per day if his vitamin D uh, level have been improved. So that was for today. I hope I get a good response from Dr. Campbell and if you were interested, please like and subscribe and share this video with your friend. Until next time, I wish you all stay safe and well.